people living with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias is expected to double in fewer than 30 years. There are a lot of efforts, though, to better define risk factors and also future treatments. Dr. Julio Rojas Martinez with the University of California, San Francisco, is joining us via Zoom. And thank you so much. We've done a lot of different stories talking about this, especially how this affects minority populations as well. That is correct. Uh, Alzheimer's disease is affecting a lot of people nationally and around the world. And it's not just a public health crisis. I see it as a social crisis. So we have a generational responsibility to develop better ways to treat Alzheimer's disease and to prevent Alzheimer's disease. And because of rather related to that, I want to tell you about a very exciting study that we are conducting is called the AHEAD study. This is a study in which we are trying to prevent Alzheimer's disease. We're trying to get uh, to the disease before symptoms start. And this is a very revolutionary concept. It's not on everybody's radar that you could prevent Alzheimer's disease, but the AHEAD study is trying to do that. Okay, and this is the AHEAD study um, that we've talked about before here on the morning show. But when you think about preventing Alzheimer's, I mean, it just almost sounds unbelievable. What do you need from the community in order to really study this and get ahead of this disease? We're trying to get ahead of the disease, ahead of Alzheimer's disease with this clinical study. Uh, one thing to know is that we are trying to generate the best possible science. We are trying to generate science that is generalizable or reaches everybody. The best way to do that is to participate or to collaborate in studies like the AHEAD study with a diverse community. And being the National Minority Month, what a better way to celebrate this month but with a study that is very mindful about creating opportunities for everybody to participate. Historically, the Alzheimer's research has conducted has been conducted only in, in the white population in, in the great majority of cases. But more and more we're seeing efforts like the HEAD study to have an inclusive uh, study. So we're trying to create these opportunities. And there might be people who might not be interested in, in, in something like this, but if there's anyone from any underrepresented group who would like to have an opportunity to prevent Alzheimer's disease, this is a great opportunity. What allows folks to qualify? What group, what are you looking for as far as age goes? And then obviously people who aren't already experiencing symptoms of dementia or, or Alzheimer's. Yeah, inclusion criteria for the AHEAD study. If you are five, 55 years or older, if you have no symptoms and you have not been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, this is a great opportunity for you. Uh, go to aheadstudy.org and find information about the study. Type in your zip code and find out the closest site um, in which you could participate. Um, there are 75 sites around the nation. And again, it doesn't matter who you are, what background you have. This is a good opportunity, a good study. It might not be uh, your age range. If this is not for you, think about your relatives, think about a friend and tell them about this exciting opportunity to prevent Alzheimer's disease. Innovative study, and you will be working with uh, world-renowned experts in dementia. You know, let me ask you just quickly as we wrap up, you know, we talk about underrepresented and minority communities. Historically, they haven't participated in these clinical trials because of things that have happened many years ago. There's a distrust in some of these communities, um, people who don't necessarily think that the outcomes will be what, what they say they are or the guy, like, you know, just in general, there's some distrust. So what would you say to help people feel secure about this um, and that they can participate in it and again, have a positive outcome? Yes, absolutely. There is um, uh, there is mistrust, but um, the generations or the times are changing. But we understand that if we want to have a more inclusive society, we need to bring research opportunities for everybody, but also better healthcare. Mm -hmm. One advantage of uh, participating in a study like AHEAD is that it's a two-way street. People contribute. People help out to advance research. But what means for a participant is that you also get more eyes on you, expert eyes on you who could help you um, prevent Alzheimer's disease. Okay. So 
I think we just need to change our mindset around what we're trying to do together as a society. All right, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, go to that website, definitely get the information just by making the phone call or filling out a form that just gets the ball rolling. And if you decide you don't want to do it, you don't have to, but certainly be informed so that you can make a good decision. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you.